So I have chosen verse 30 from Vilap Kusumanjali. O oh, Indira Vakshi, girl with, lotus, with blue lotus eyes, will there ever be a time when I can ornament you with blue bangles inset with many jewels? When can I adorn both your hands that are expert in all arts and that are very dear to Sri Hari with beautiful glistening rings? Maybe one more time. Oh, Indira, Indira Rakshi, girl with blue lotus eyes, will there ever be a time when I can ornament you with blue bangles inset with many jewels? When can I adorn both your hands that are expert in all arts and that are very dear to Sri Hari with beautiful glistening rings. Commentary. A divine stream of transcendental visions streams through Sri Raghunath's heart. Even those who are in the class of neophytes have some of these realizations. But Sri Raghunath is in the kingdom of Mahabhava. He experiences all these things in a lively and vivid way. And after experiencing this, he reveals it through his prayers. Even in his external consciousness, the internal consciousness twangs through. That is why his prayers are touching the heart so much. So we can see here, it is explained that Sri Raghunath is experiencing these visions directly and very clearly. These visions are so intense and so vivid that even those who read, who read Vilapa Kusumanjali are touched by them. Baba, Baba is also saying that even neophyte devotees have some of these realizations. But then he says that Sri Raghunath is in the kingdom of Mahabhav. Raghunath's heart is one with Radhika's. Whatever she feels, he also feels. Radhika and her manjaris, kinkaris, are one. Hence, kinkaris also feel this Mahabhava that Radhika feels. In his Swarupa Vesha, Chiraguna Das Goswami, as Tulasi, puts blue bangles on Swamini's wrists. A golden color slightly shimmers through the, through the blue, reminding Swamini of Shyam, the blue bangles, and his yellow dhoti, 
the golden color. Krishna's skin color is blue, like a monsoon cloud, Shyam color. Radhika's color is golden. So whenever Radhika sees something blue, she is always reminded of Krishna. That is also why Radhika wears a blue sari, while Krishna wears a golden sari, Radhika's color. Radhika always wants to be reminded of her beloved. That is why she likes the blue color so much. When she sees a blue lotus, she thinks of Krishna. When she sees a tamala tree, she thinks of Krishna. Or, in this case, when Tulasi puts blue bangles on her wrists, she is immediately reminded of her beloved Shyama. A golden color slightly shimmers through the blue, reminding Swamini of Shyam, the blue bangles, and his yellow dhoti, the golden color. What a wonderful handicraft. How wonderful is also the address in Diva Rakshi. So whenever Radhika starts experiencing these higher stages of Mahabhava, a reflection of them come in Raghunath's heart. Radhika's dasis have a complete understanding of the emotions and the mood of Swamini. When Swamini becomes overwhelmed by her love for Krishna, it is the duty of her dasis to enhance these emotions by singing songs about Krishna, describing their pastimes, describing Krishna's qualities, and so on. The foremost duty of Swamini's dasi is to make Swamini happy. Swamini is more dear to her dasi than her own life. So what better way to make Swamini happy than by speaking about her beloved Shyam? So in order to enhance these emotions, which Swamini is experiencing, Tulasi in this verse calls Swamini Indira Rakshi, the girl with blue lotus eyes. Tulasi especially addresses Swamini like this to express what she relishes within her heart as she sees the blue bangles. All the emotions are manifest in Bhava Mai. Her form and her, her Bhava are one and the same thing. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, her body consists of prema and is formed by prema. Hence, she is known in the world as Krishna's beloved. In this material world, our physical body is composed of five elements, water, air, ether, fire, and earth. In the spiritual realm, 
the bodies of the residents are made of spiritual energy. And Swamini's body is made of her Mahabhava, pure love. She is Mahabhava Mai, Prema Mai, the embodiment of love. Not only does Swamini feel ecstatic love for Krishna, but she loves the whole world. And she also has special love for her maidservants. It is said that Radhika loves her sakis very much. But at, at the same time, she loves her kinkaris even more. Radhika calls her maidservants very affectionately. My Tulasi, my Rupa. As Radhika's maidservants, we can also get a body similar to hers. How fortunate are those who are servants of Swamini, the queen of love, the embodiment of Mahabhav. From the time of Purva Raga, when Radhika first saw Krishna, she saw the whole world to be full of Krishna. Therefore, she told her girlfriends, O oh, Saki, as soon as I saw Kana, the whole world became filled with Cupid's flower arrows and my eyes could not see anything else anymore. In this material world, we are all enamored with Cupid. We all have lusty desires that are inspired by Cupid himself. But those who worship Krishna can gradually overcome Cupid's arrows. One of Krishna's names is Madana Mohan, he who enchants Cupid. In other words, Krishna is so attractive that if we worship him, Cupid in the form of material desires will lose his appeal. But one of Radhika's names is Madana Mohana Mohini, the enchanter of the enchanter of Cupid. So those who worship Madana Mohana Mohini are most fortunate. They can overcome Cupid and Krishna, the enchanter of Cupid. And I would like to read one commentary from Madhya Lila. 13.150. I know Guru, they will very much like this commentary. Shrimati Radharani is the center of all Vrindavan's activities. In Vrindavan, Krishna is the instrument of Shrimati Radharani. Therefore, all the inhabitants of Vrindavan still chant Jai Rade. From Krishna's own statement given herein, it appears that Radharani is the queen of Vrindavan and that Krishna is simply her decoration. Krishna is known as Madana Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid, but Shrimati Radharani is the enchanter of Krishna. Consequently, Srimati Radharani is called Madana Mohana Mohini, the enchanter of the enchanter of Cupid. So let me read one more time this last sentence. Osaki. 
As soon as I saw Kana, the whole world became filled with Cupid's flower arrows and my eyes could not see anything else anymore. Yeah. This is the love of the embodiment of love. How beautifully Baba describes I sorry. <clears throat> How beautifully Baba describes Radhika's love for Krishna. This is the love of the embodiment of love. How can you describe or experience when love personified loves? Impossible. Only God himself can do this and understand this. But for our benefit, Baba is trying to describe the highest feelings of Swamini. We cannot imagine, we cannot imagine the scope of love Radhika has for Krishna. Actually, we cannot imagine the scope of love Radhika has for us. What to speak about Krishna? Radhika sees everywhere only Krishna. Wherever Krishna resides, she is also there. It does not matter whether they are in Viraha or in Milan. Radhika is always with him, always thinking about him, feeling for him. Radhika's love is completely selfless. She only thinks about Krishna's welfare. It is explained that when Krishna goes with some other gopi, Radhika is angry. But Radhika is not angry because Krishna went to another gopi, but because she knows that she is the one who can serve him the best. Hence, she is angry that Krishna will not be fully satisfied. How amazing. Where can we find such selfless love similar to Radhika's in this material world? Impossible. O Shyam, Virakhini Rai dwells in a lonely place and draws a form of you with musk, taking you to be Cupid. She draws a makara fish under your form and offers obeisances unto you with a mango bud arrow in the hand. Offering her obeisances, she says, O oh Madhava, I take shelter of your lotus feet. If you reject me, even the nectarian moon is burning me with its scorching flames. You are so rarely attained and today I came so close to you in my meditation. She takes the form she drew on the canvas to be Krishna himself. Therefore, she sometimes tells it about her separation from you and cries. And sometimes she laughs thinking thinking you to be close by sometimes she's sad 
thinking you to have gone away from her. And sometimes she extinguishes the burning fire in her heart by embracing your form, thinking that you have come back. In this way, the embodiment of Mahabhava is decorated by a qualified maidservant who makes her relish rasa. Srimati sees Shamasundar's reflection in the blue luster of the bangles. When, T when Tulasi sees the beauty of Swamini's eyes, she calls her Indiva Rakshi. She, whose eyes are as beautiful as blue Indiva lotuses. Your eyes are naturally beautiful. But when they see Shyam, they are so much more beautiful. Swamini's eyes are very beautiful. But when they see Shyam, they become even more beautiful. Swamini is often referred to as lotus-eyed girl. In this case, upon seeing Shyamasundar's reflection in the blue luster of bangles, Raghunath notices how her beautiful eyes have become even more beautiful. Her eyes have become the color of a blue-eyed lotus. Hence, Tulasi calls Swamini Indira Vakshi. She, whose eyes are beautiful, as beautiful as blue Indivara lotuses. In the opening verse of his Dana Keli Komudi, Srila Rupa Goswami prays to Shirada's eyes that reveal the ecstatic symptom of Kila Kanchit, Kila Kinchit, for the welfare of the world. May Shirada's glances that are beautified by the bouquet of the sevenfold Kila Kinchit ecstasy, bestow auspiciousness on you. Shimati Radhika is very well known for her sidelong glances. Her eyes are very restless, always searching for Krishna. So whenever Radhika sees Krishna, due to social obstacles, she has to communicate with her beloved with her eyes by making sidelong glances at her beloved. She is very expert in this kind of communication. She also communicates with her body and with, with her gestures. For the lilas to go on smoothly, this kind of stealthy communication is required, both by Radhika and Krishna and by their sakis and manjaris. When Krishna stops Sri Radha on the road near the Dana Ghati at Govardhan Hill, her eyes attain a certain shimmer because of her slight smile of joy. Her eyelashes are covered with teardrops and the corners of her eyes have become slightly reddish, having been sprinkled by rasikata tastiness. They have begun to shrink because she sees Krishna standing before her. And her pupils have become 
extraordinarily beautiful, as they assume a certain sweet kind of crookedness. Swamin is fond of black things, and any kind of blue color incites her. As soon as any kind of blue color comes to her, she feels as if Shama Sundara has come before her. Hey Shri Rade, you are fond of anything which may remind you of Shyam through its color or name. Tamala trees, the new moon night, a fresh monsoon cloud, or blue lotus flowers. She does not see the blue bangles, but Krishna. She cannot understand this. Radhika is called Krishna Mai because Krishna is within her and without her. Wherever her glances fall, there she sees Krishna. She is seeing the bangles, but she thinks she sees Shyam. Tulasi says, Tulasi sees that Swamini's eyes that are of the same blue color as Krishna is are filled with emotion when she thinks she sees Shyam. That is why she addresses her as Indiva Rakshi, blue lotus eyed girl. When they see Krishna, these blue eyes become even more beautiful. She does not know whether she sees Krishna or the blue bangles. Tulasi performs Prasanga Seva by reminding Swamini of Shyam. Sri Banga Bihari Vidyalankara adds, O oh, Indiva Rakshi, your eyes are like blue lotus flowers that attract the Krishna bee. Tulasi will now place the bangles on Swamini's arms that she calls Hari Daita, Hari's beloveds. He is Radhika's Hari, and he removes all obstacles with the savor of his own sweetness. He takes away Harana, all her shyness, opposition, and other obstacles to their meeting, or her savoring of his sweetness. Hari is Chatur Shiromani, the crown jewel of clever pranksters. By cleverly attracting Shiradika with the sweetness of his form, qualities, pastimes, and flute playing, he makes her forget everything. In his Radha Rasa Sundanidi, Sri Prabhadananda Saraswati shows how difficult it is for Sri Radha to maintain her pride. When Sri Radhika is angry with Krishna, her first resolution is, I will not look at him anymore. But Krishna, the crown jewel of pranksters, clever pranksters, speaks in such a sweet way and stands before her as if he begs her, look at me just once. So we see here that one of Krishna's names is Chatur Shiromani, 
the crown jewel of clever pranksters. This attribute of Krishna is most prominent when he tries to pacify angry Radhika. Radhika is often in mana, and then she often decides not to look at Krishna anymore. But Krishna, Chatur Shiramani, always finds a way to Radhika's heart. When Radhika does not want to see Krishna, Krishna often asks Radhika's maidservants to act as a mediator between him and Shrimati Radharani. This is a special seva that can be performed only by someone who is very close to Radhika, like her maidservants. Sakis and Manjaris generally always try to bring Radha and Shyam together. Among the Sakis, Lalita and Vishaka are foremost. When Radhika is in mana, Lalita and Vishaka exhibit different moods. Lalita's mood is Kandita, like that of a jealous heroine who chastises her beloved. This mood is never manifested in relation to herself, however, but only when there is a delay in the meeting of Sri Sri Radha Madhava. She is well known for her hot and contrary nature and her protective mood over her pranasaki, Srimati Radhika. So Lalita is often chastising Shyam and she usually takes Radhika's side. On the other hand, Vishaka is the diplomat in the loving affairs of Radha and Krishna. She is the pacifier when things go haywire. Her mood is called Svadina Batrika, which means like a heroine who is independent minded and who controls her lover by her friendly and pleasant ways. Her temperament is Adhika Madhya, moderately exalted. She is more lenient to Krishna after he misbehaves and she is always looking for ways to bring Radha and Krishna together and to console the situation. Seeing the sweetness of his form, the Sakis tell each other, Aha! Uh -huh. How sweetly he stands there in his threefold bending form. The life of that lady love who does not see that sweetness is wasted. Hearing these words of her friends, Srimati becomes eager to see Krishna and looks at him once. Thus, her first resolution is broken. Her second resolution is, I won't speak with him. How nicely Krishna is speaking. Swamini cannot stay silent anymore and tells him, Go to that girl you love, another gopi. What are you standing for? What are you standing here for? Speaking such clever words. Thus, her second vow is gone. Her third vow is, I won't touch him. But Krishna gradually brings his foot forward and touches the tips 
of Srimati's toes. This makes her unsteady. So she angrily takes Krishna by the hand and pushes him out of the kunja. Srimati thinks, just see, now I have also touched him. If I could not keep my wa- if I could not keep any vow, then how can I keep him away? So she holds him by the neck and brings him back into the kunja. In this way, Hari still swam in his heart in so many ways. Therefore, she once told her Sakis, O oh, Saki, tell me, what should I do? I don't know what kind of spell Vida Agdarai has put on me. Yet, I cannot resist the temptation to step onto the veranda to see him without considering how crazy and dangerous that is. By seeing his form, I have built my own samadhi. I dug my own grave. Day and night, my heart cries in a severe fever. If I say anything else in front of my superiors, the name of Shyam may accidentally come from my mouth. Tulasi puts the bangles on Swamini's wrists. How beautiful these bangles look when they attain a place on Swamini's wrists. When something or someone comes in contact with Radhika, it or he or she is immediately beautified, showered with Radhika's energy and love. Radhika showers all inanimate objects and all people of the world with love. What to speak about her maidservants? They cannot sustain their life without Swamini. Even on a neophyte level, when a practitioner comes in direct contact with Swamini, he feels a glimmer of this bliss. Without this bliss, Swamini's energy, everything in this world feels dry, stale. So we have to continuously take shelter, take shelter of Swamini and pray for her service so that we can always be connected with Swamini in a beautiful, loving relationship. How sweetly Swamini's bangles jingle. Runjun, runjun. Enchanting the enchanter of the world. Radhika is always calling us to join her with the sweet sound of her bangles. But often we do not hear this sound. She is always calling us, come, join me, leave this world of suffering behind. But unfortunately, we do not hear her call. We are occupied by our material activities, devoid of spiritual realization. That is why we need special ears to hear the call of Radhika. We need a person who can amplify the sound and give us this special spiritual hearing to increase the taste, the volume of Radhika's calling. 
So Guru is our guide and our GPS to the spiritual realm. Sadguru can increase the volume of Radhika's call so that we can leave this world behind and always remain, remain like Gurudev says, in spiritual consciousness. When Swamini dances or plays ball, her bangles jingle like the enchanting weapons of Cupid. In the morning, when Krishna goes out to tend his cows, Purva Goshta, he sees Radhika standing on the watchtower. Like a golden lightning strike on a jeweled palace, wearing a cloud blue dress, In front of her superiors, Swamini cannot openly gaze at Krishna. While she pulls her veil over her head, her bangles jingle. This enchants the enchanter of Cupid. The surrendered maidservants understand their mood. During the rasa dance, Swamini's bangles also jingle. How wonderfully she moves her lotus-like hands. Her bangles buzz sweetly like she bees on lotus flowers with stems, her arms. How sweetly these bangles jingle when Swamini shakes the dice with both hands during their daily game of dice. How much Shyama relishes this? This sweet sight is an elixir for the eyes and this sweet sound is an elixir for the ears. While she serves Swamini, the, the kinkari brings all this relish of Shyama Nagara into her heart. Swamini's heart is engrossed in rasa. She is Hari Daita and Indira Rakshi. Once during the rasa dance, when both Radha and Shyama are dancing, Sham suddenly stops dancing and Swamini says, why don't you dance? You dance so nicely. I don't know how to dance like that. Shyama says, you dance even nicer than me. I see how beautifully you dance and I can see how I dance myself in the pupils of your eyes that defeat the blue lotus flowers. When I see my own reflection in your eyes, it's clear to me that I don't dance as nicely as you do. Tulasi gladdens Bhava Mai's heart with the pictures of, the, of these reminiscences. How beautiful are Swamini's eyes when she is with Shyam. Swamini says, Tulasi, I am anyway mad after him. Why do you make me even more mad by reminding me of him? After hanging the bangles on Tulasi, after hanging the bangles on, Tulasi puts jeweled rings on Swamini's fingers that defeat the buds of golden champaka flowers in beauty. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti writes in Krishna Bhavanamrita, 
Shri Radhika wears jewel rings on all of her fingers, except for the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger of her right hand. Normally, the moon and the lotus cannot be seen together, but on Sri Radhika's extraordinary transcendental lotus-like hands, it is as if the moon fearfully takes shelter. Therefore, the moon's beloved stars are surrounding the petal-like fingers of these lotus-like hands in the form of the fingerings diffusing a lovely kind of beauty. Srimati can see Krishna reflected in her jeweled rings without being noticed by her superiors. Srila Rupa Goswami states that Sri Radhika's rings are marked with her own name and are called Vipakshamada Mardini, the destroyer of her rival's pride. Shirasika Chandra Dasa sings, O oh Radhe, with the blue lotus eyes, Radhe Jananda Maharaj, this is 12 and 12. Read again. 24. This is 12 and 12. See this. Repeating this line. Oh, Radhe, with the blue lotus eyes. No one can attract the Krishna bee like you. Oh, no, come a little more high. Srimati can see Krishna reflected in her from jeweled ring. Moon and lotus from there. Normally, the moon and the lotus can be seen together, Devran. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Normally, the moon and the lotus cannot be seen together. No, it's impossible. Because lotus flows um, when the moon comes. Understand? They close lotus flower. Only they can see in sunlight open. But here, lotus and moon, you can see together. Yeah. Normally, the moon and the lotus cannot be seen together. But on Shiradika's extraordinary, transcendental, lotus-like hands, it is as if the moon fearfully takes shelter. Therefore, the moon's beloved stars are surrounding the petal-like fingers of these lotus-like hands in the form of the finger rings, diffusing, diffusing a lovely kind of beauty. Srimati can see Krishna reflected in her jeweled rings without being noticed by her superiors. Srila Rupa Gos Srila Rupa Goswami states that Sri Radhika's rings are marked with her own name and are called 
Vipaksha Mada Mardini, the destroyer of her rival's pride. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Shri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings, O oh, Radhe, with the blue lotus eyes, no one can attract the Krishna bee like you. I have a keen desire to decorate your hands with jeweled ornaments. I will put rings on your fingers that are as beautiful as the golden buds of champaka flowers. Seeing that abundance of beauty, the Krishna moon will be very pleased. Please call me your maidservant and keep me at your feet. So we see that Ragunata is always having these visions, and in this last verse, he is praying to Radhika to always give him service, special service like putting rings on her fingers. So we should always meditate in such a way in our bhajan. <laughs> we should always meditate, you know, meditate uh, to do some special seva for Swamini, like Sri Raghunath is meditating. And Sri Vilap Kusumanjali will help us in our meditation because we can really feel a part of the emotions uh, that Raghunatha Das is feeling. So this is the end of the verse, 30, and the commentary. Thank you so much. Maybe somebody could help. Gurudev, Chananda Maharaj, Varanga Sundara, other devotees. Or I can keep on reading. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Gananda Maharaj will say us. Rudev, could you could you could you say you are realizing twelve and twelve? Could you share? Read again. Read repeat this. Sorry, Gurudev, I didn't hear. What do you want me to read? Same repeat. Verse. The moon and the lotus. Ah, the moon. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> slow, more slow. Sri Radhika wears jeweled rings. What is the ring? Oh. What is the ring? Jewel rings. Krishna. The jewel is Krishna. Radhika is Krishna. No other jewel she wears. Gopis, Manjaris, they all decorate him with the jewels. And that jewel is Krishna for him. You no need other jewels. Ornaments. The ornaments, the Manjari say, This is Krishna. They say, Okay, put me. Yeah. 
far. This is twelve. Uh, yeah, the, it's a similar when Tulas is putting Gairvea necklace on her breasts. Yeah. Actually, she is putting the hands of Krishna around her neck on her breasts. So and, this uh, when the necklace. And the necklace gravity has then they put. Yeah. They explain details about that. Yeah. What is your girl for the neck? Your beloved Krishna, right? So I put in your neck Krishna and Gravya is a pointed one pointed that this shows to the breast of Radhika. So like this, this is, is one pointed, he will become very without you telling anything. It's, it's Kila Kinshita. Not talking, but ornamenting like this, that it attracts to the mad to, it's meant to spin to Krishna. Sri Radhika wears jeweled rings on all of her fingers. They are very beautiful, but when the jewel, jewel Miss Krishna come in the finger of Radhika, in control of Radhika, it become more beautiful. Shiradika wears so, so so moon and lotus it together is a party above. This is the words are something, but the behind meaning is something. Yeah. Sri Radhika wears jeweled rings on all of her fingers. It's not but necessary, but she cannot say no because she is wearing not the manjaris are putting inside her two fingers. And who is doing Rupa Manjari? Except for the thumb, the index finger. Why thumb? Not God, this is not a good sign to show that thumbs. You're in love. So the mic, please. Huh? Can you take mic closer, please? Because so important explanation, sir. So, yes. Raja, is okay? Yeah. Mic, voice coming? Perfect, perfect, Guru Dev now. So, thumbs is not a good finger to show the thumbs or someone. No. The, actually, you use with this fingers. And then she use, she accept this, not in thumb.
बिकॉज आर हार्ट इज कृष्णा शी वॉन्ट टू कीप इन फिंगर्स मीन्स इन आर कंट्रोल You don't want to show that thumb like this, no. You want to control him, right? Go on. Hmm. Except for the thumb, the index finger. and the middle finger of her right hand normally the moon and the lotus cannot be seen together yeah. now you can see together but on shri radhika's extraordinary transcendental lotus like lotus like hands it is as if the moon fearfully takes shelter fearfully take shot she this she take the salt of radhika fearful understand what is me chand gokul chand is th- becoming salt useful <laughs> yeah to take shelter of radhika right so gurudev is explaining in a very subtle way kama gayatri mantra devotees shri radhe our mantra god all the gayatri is very meaningful if you want to search in this past time all mantra you will understand all the past time is our mantra we the kam gatri prem rupaye dhime radha mantra tanno radha prachodaya means all mantra is opening your vision so this gayatri's mantras are so important so important you can feel it in the past times so we cannot separate mantra from lilas yeah no lila is mantra yes and uh, when you do the mantra that moment you have to meditate the lila that's the point that the beauty of ragava sir that is the only the half power manjari can realize it when priya wants manjari or with priya so she become twelve and half so always she is a win and the sham is twelve so manjari's role is so important that is cling why 
वन डे वी आर रीडिंग सम पास टाइम स्मॉल पुनियम वेरी यंग बॉय ही इन दैट पास टाइम एंड ही से दिस इज पुष्प या धीम है नो 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 आई से रिपीट अगेन I miss this, but he realizes it. This is push paniyam he made, and I said yes. I agree with you. Guru Dev, yeah. maybe it's a time now. Did you explain what does it mean? Twelve. You explain half. It's a manjari. Twenty-four. Twenty. We know twenty-four, and half is Krishna. Yes. But Krishna is alone, or without Rad, with Radhika. Krishna is himself. He understands Bhagavad Gita, ten fifteen, telling when the uh, his pleasure shakti try to explain, show him, then he understand himself. He cannot understand his qualities and beauty. What means? Because Krishna means never alone. Radha and Krishna. Radha can see to Krishna. Why Krishna will see and talk about him? Radha is looking. And from that eyes, Krishna is important, right? I cannot see Krishna. When Krishna cannot understand without his shakti, pleasure giving potency, how the human can understand Krishna? Possible. No, see the ten, fifteen Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada words, I say you. So when he cannot understand a condition, so how he can understand Krishna like this? So here, about this twenty-four, he is showing how it acts. They are working, what they do, and how they mix up. This past yeah. time is showing. This past time is showing how they combine each other in twenty-four half. That is the beauty of this line. Read again, not rush. See, see and feel it. Lotus and the moon start again from there. Normally, the moon and the lotus cannot be seen together. Impossible. But on Sri Radhika's extraordinary, transcendental, lotus-like hands. Ah! Uh, wow! It is as if the moon. Fearfully takes 
shelter. Fearfully take shelter. Therefore, because her bhav is kila kinchita. He don't want to miss the chance to take the shelter now. So he become form of ring to take shelter. Understand? So this is the lotus and moon meeting. Gurudev, yeah. this is happening in Nivritini Kunj. <laughs> naturally. Yes, naturally. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Normally. The <laughs> manjari and they are there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And they can see, only manjaris can see. This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you want to see, this is the only way to feel it. Other will not feel it. If my bow is not a sight, not fixed. Rade, uh, um, maybe I can add one question. Yeah. Sure, you can answer, add. This is the subject to relish and go deep, my dear. Um, the rings on the finger, Kila Kinshit, seven forms, seven rings. I was just meditating on that. Maybe there is some connection. Maybe you uh, can tell us more on that. But um, I also was meditating. If you have a blue sapphire and you put it in gold, you will put very small diamonds around, let's say half. You make some halves around. Yeah. That the blue diamond is shining more, more attractive, and the gold is also shining more. So the mandras are also in the rings. So this together is shining more. And we also maybe meditate on the fact that these rings will not shine because light comes from outside and they are reflecting. Actually, it's the Mahabhav which is shining from Radharani outside through the rings. And the mandaris are reflecting little aspects of Radharani's Mahabhav. Because they are the shadow. Shadow of for original. And who is original? Radhika is original. And who is shadow? Manjiris are the shadow of Radhika. Shadow cannot exist without origin. And the half is needed to make 24 perfect. Wow. 24, 24, 7 we say. What is 24, 7? If this 24 half is 24, 7. See, Radhe. 24 half is 24, 7. And 24, who is doing 24 practice? Who is half? Who is half? 
always on 1.10 match. And Kila Kinshit, 7. 24-7. So, Kila Kinshit is 7, means Krishna is always minus. 24 half explanation is this, that half is manjaris. 24 half, the manjaris always meditate 24, 7, 7 means 7 days. So every moment he is in meditation. That is 24, 7. 24 hours is 24, 7. And who meditate? Only half can meditate, not everyone. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> so this is 24, 7. Go on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sound, please, Mike. There, there. Therefore, Mike. Hmm, sorry. My mic is closed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. No problem. Perfect. Therefore, the moon's beloved stars are surrounding the petal-like fingers. Ah, uh -huh. do you see? Again, lotus, petal-like. And who is moon? You know moon is a Krishna. His and his stars are yeah. actually his beautiful qualities. Yes, all this beautiful ornaments of ornaments. Gokula Chandra. Yes, this is the ornament. <laughs> and he says seven. Uh, and how in beautiful 24 and seven. Seven days. Who is in this meditation? One point they realize it. Krishna. And who is doing this? Half is doing this. Half. It's very nice description, actually, how Krishna, with all his qualities, fearfully takes a shelter mm. of these seven yes. fingers. Like seven days, all 24, seven. <laughs> and the half is witnessing it. Yeah, with, with the sea. And half is in that meditation. Yeah. He not go out from that. He has no desire to go out from there. But still, Gurudev, these three fingers without rings. Mm -hmm. They must have some function in this Nivriti Nikonjalil. Let's see. Very intimate function. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Meditate. I will search it out. <laughs> That's the beauty of our Kama Gayatri. Why 24 7 is that? 24 half is that? Dananda Maharaj, it yes. looks like this. So, Guru, you are saying 24 hours, seven days, Manjar is meditating like this, and half yes. is a Manjari? Yes. And 20, why see where the fingers, seven fingers, 
because all seven days this app is doing that job 24 hours one point thinking on this moon and lotus yeah clear mm. Pra. go on clear gopinath go on yes therefore the moon's beloved stars are surrounding the petal like fingers of these lotus like hands in the form of the fingerings. See that diffusing a lovely kind of beauty. Ah. Srimati can see Krishna wow. reflected in her jeweled rings without being noticed by her superiors. Wow. Srila Rupa Goswami. You see, half come. Understand? Yeah, go on. Srila Rupa Goswami states that Sri Radhika's rings are marked with her own name and are called Vipaksha Mada Mardini. The destroyer of her rival's pride. Rings are marked with Radhika's name. Wow. So you are mine. You are mine. With Vipak. Krishna is mine. They say, Vipaksha say, I am yours. Radhika say, I mark you, you are mine. So Paksha and Vipak. Sri Radhika. This mm. is the way how she is destroying her rival party. We don't want to mention the name even. But it's, it's a rival no party. No import. <coughs> At all. I mark you. Yes. I don't bother. The water. You are mine. I mark that. Yes. You are mine. You are not my or where you go, I don't bother. You are mine. I mark. <coughs> <coughs> And what about the bangles? Because in India, usually you wear bangles when you are married, for example. You wear a lot of bangles. And they're also blue and they also have some diamonds on it, shining. What is then the color of the bangles? Blue. But what is that? Who is blue? Radhika is blue? I heard some boy she loves. <laughs> that is in the hands. He play like this. Mm. <laughs> he spin like this. 
We are conditioned. Maya is spin us, and Radhika is spin Krishna in the bangles. Is Krishna make dance? Prema make dance? Asal? Prema makes Krishna dance? <laughs> ah. Prema makes Jiva dance? Prema dance itself? Yeah. And all three are dancing <laughs> in the same place. <laughs> that is a and this it's a third jiva means here half mandi half yeah <laughs> <laughs> dance prema means dance to <laughs> this moon radhe radhe clear This is all divine, huh? This realization can come when you beyond material consciousness. Radhe. Sri Radhe. Go on. Sorry, Dev Pran, I am taking long time here. No, no, please don't say Gurudev. You know, but even far by your sharing, then I think that I have to say something. No, please, please Gurudev. Everybody wants to hear you. They don't want to hear me. No, no, no. You are beautiful. You are taking today. Go on. Shilarupa Goswami. Stay. The half is here. Half is. Leader is there, not even to see. Rupa Goswami himself. Fix. Rupa Manjari. Yeah. Hmm. Srila Rupa Goswami states that Sri Radhika's rings are marked with her own name and are called Vipaksha Mada Mardini. The destroyer of her rival's pride. Shri Rasika Chandra Dasa sings, O Radhe, with the blue lotus eyes, no one can attract the Krishna bee like you. Wow. Shri Radhe. So attract means spin. Attract means control. Attract means influence. To madden him. To mad him. Enchant him. Cover him. Yeah. Because Play with him. Yeah, Radhe, Radhe. She is taking him in the neck back in the kunj after she was actually trying to not think about him, to not see him, to not talk with him and all this. He is taking him in the neck back. Yeah. This is Play. Kila. This is Kila Kinshita. I love what? this. Sorry, Yeah. I love this commentary from uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, where Krishna is referred to as Radhika's instrument. Very nice. Again, repeat. 
Okay. Srimati Radharani is the center of all Vrindavan's activities. In Vrindavan, Krishna is the instrument of Srimati Radharani. Therefore, all the inhabitants of Vrindavan still chant Jairade. From Krishna's own statement given herein, it appears that Radharani is the queen of Vrindavan and that Krishna is simply her decoration. Yeah, ho, oh, oh. ho. You so see this? So which bus, Deva Pranapabu? Which bus? Uh, it's Chaitanya, Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, Madhya Lila, 13150. What a beautiful researcher you are. You see? You see what? that? Whose book is this? Is it other book or Prabhupada book? Yeah, Prabhupada, Prabhupada. Then why not Prabhupada followers understand these things? They know, read or what? Prabhupada is telling for his followers, right? This book, Sana. Actually, Gurudev, Gorgovinda Maharaj once said, we are not reading <clears throat> the same books. We are holding the same books. Mm -hmm. But I am reading, you are reading the black letters, I am reading the white letters. Wow. Yeah, oh, Gorgovinda Maharaj. Yes. Yeah. That is the beauty of reading. When the day will come, I will read the white letters. What is behind? Behind the white letters. Yeah. <laughs> then we are in right parampara. If not, then which parampara we are following? Go on. Time is very less. Oh, Radha. Oh, Radha. With the blue lotus eyes, no one can attract the Krishna bee like you. Wow. I have a keen desire to decorate your hands with jeweled ornaments. I will put rings on your fingers that are as beautiful as mm -hmm. the golden buds of champaka flowers. Seeing that abundance of beauty the Krishna moon will be 
very pleased. Please call me your maidservant and keep me at your feet. Yeah. This is the this is the end of of the commentary. Yeah. Thank you very much, Gurudev. Thanks. Giving us so much mercy and your prashad from your heart, no. so, so that we can really giving to me. And their pran was and scratching if, you. Their pran is you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for this chance. Thank you, Gurudev. Sorry if I read too fast. I'm trying mm -hmm. to read as slow as possible. <laughs> no, <laughs> A little bit more difficult. Full speed that way. It should be always like that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Anything more? Any comments of anyone? Nobody wants to comment. Why? What's that video? Rade, Rade. Raja. Raja. Brazil. May I ask a question? Sure. Yeah. Uh, somebody can explain more deeper the, the meaning of Kila Kinchita symptom. What is that? Explain. No, I I like to know more. Um, Read again this this sloka uh, and beginning and end. Kila kinchit means sometimes something, sometimes something. Not want to show my love, but I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see you, but I seeing you. You read again. Because others cannot understand that I want to see you. Mm -hmm. But my sidelong glance is looking you. I cannot want to see you, but I from ring I see you. May Sri Radha's glances that are beautified by the bouquet of the sevenfold Kila Kinchit ecstasy. You see, bouquet. <laughs> bouquet means not one flower. There are many flowers. Then they be, so you can say bouquet. Many flavors. All flower has different flavor, and this bouquet become. Right? Where Ananda Babaji is a poet of what? Where he such this sweet, mellow, and poetry is all poetry. Wow. In Bangla, also very sweet. 
in 70s and 80s, I'm only listening Bangla at that time, not English was there. with my brothers. Go on. It still is all fresh for me. May Sri Radha's glances that are beautified by the bouquet of the sevenfold Kila Kinchit ecstasy bestow auspiciousness on you. When Krishna stops Sri Radha on the road near the Dana Ghati, her eyes attain a certain shimmer because of her slight smile of joy. This is also Kila Kinja. She is smiling, but not showing that I am smiling. Many are, <laughs> but she is smile, little face, but nobody understands. Smile like Jananda Maharaj is smiling. <coughs> Who is close, they will see. Mm -hmm. Right? A smile. Yeah. So, this smile is also cash to the heart of Krishna. Wow. How oh, her smile is. You become like a shivering. What to do now? Out of control. He's spinning. <laughs> Rade. No? See that? By this smile, she makes this nice spin. Wow. So, could you, can I give some comments? <laughs> yeah, I'm respecting you. You are keeping quiet, but I want to listen from you. So, like, uh, it is uh, Kira Kinch described uh, Radha want to uh, go through from uh, Danagati, but uh, Krishna stop it. So at that time, Radha Rani is feeling the very, what is it, very many different feelings is, is combined. Why? Because uh, Krishna disturbed, stop Radharani. So, but also same time, she, she want, uh, Radharani want to see Krishna is very nice, but also Radharani become a little bit, little bit angry. So many different feeling like uh, smiling, sometimes like, like uh, uh, weeping, little bit small, small tear. Sometimes a little bit laughing, sometimes fear, why you stop it? Or sometimes like sickness means like a little bit, why you do this? And also so much ecstasy, like a fainting. And uh, sometimes like a fatigue, you know, different feeling is, is mixing. So at, at, at that time, Radharani sees the uh, send sidelong glance to, to Krishna. At that time, Krishna feel different way also. So then Krishna becomes so much ecstasy. So this Kira, Kira Kinchita is like a kind of 
uh, how do you say, kind of, it describes kind of decoration of radar lines, quality, kind of beauty. And also, this side and glance attract kind of steal Krishna's heart also. One sense, one sense, this also some small meaning of Gayatri Mantra, because Krishna, Krishna, by side, by her side and glance, means expressing so many different feelings. Then Krishna is kind of, Krishna was so much feel ecstasy. Krishna is kind of, uh, Krishna's heart was stolen by Radharani. This Anandas Baba describes this, this seven feeling is, is bucket. Like, uh, so much flower is seven flower is on, on one, one kind of bucket. Means seven different feeling with, of Radharani is like, a, like a book, uh, and that beautify everything. <laughs> so I can, I could not explain. So this is, uh, describes her different kind of feeling. Also, that is beautify Radharani's, Radharani's quality or Radharani's side or long glance and stealing Krishna's heart. Rade, rade. Sometimes the heart is saying something and the glances are showing another thing. Sometimes Radhika is very happy to see the Krishna, but at the same time, she wants to go at home, to run away. And, she, and her, her eyes are showing the shyness, but she is in ecstasy to see her. But actually, she saw that she wants to go. Yes. <laughs> No, this is the nature. This is the Somebody said not to go. She wants to feel that. Somebody hold her. And this holding and showing not, I want to go home, is that feeling that somebody catch me not to go to home. That's two taste at a one time. <laughs> and also good that maybe this is maybe different from like a rival because this is a kind of bamya. Like uh, Radharani's mood is not obedient from lovers. Sometimes it become little bit angry, sometimes man. Sometimes he always want to give new flavor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if he don't want to give old flavor every day, same thing. I love. Right? Deva? <laughs> yes, Gurudev. He is the person he brings me to. to I don't know before. No, no. Actually, Gurudev, this is only your will. I'm just, I was just the instrument. I was very fortunate. How can I'm, I bring it? I'm not the controller. I'm fortunate that there are so much highly elevated souls are there. Because of you, I don't have it. Yeah. Rade, Rade. Can I add something also? <laughs> Ananta Basdev. Ananta Basdev is 
My name, Ananta. Sign. Yeah, yeah, your mercy, your mercy, Gurudev. <laughs> Go to Lord Mahatma. Always happy. And her daughter, two daughters. One is a Rasmai. All you know that. Her. And one is a living in the Prabhupada Seva in Narsingadha in Germany. Yeah. She will so, come. She will come in August to visit you in Munger Mandir Temple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Krishna uh, stopped Radharani to pick flowers, uh, she manifests this uh, Kilakinjita symptoms, the seven symptoms. But uh, Srila Prabhupada explained that all these symptoms are based on uh, harsha, on joyful. So when she uh, sees Krishna, she's joyful. This is the basic uh, emotion that she feels at that moment. And then she steps a little bit back and manifest all these other symptoms of Kilakinchi. And she manifests just for a reason that uh, increase attraction of Krishna Mohan for, for her. Very nice. Beautiful. To attract yeah. Krishna. To make Spain to Krishna. To dance to Krishna. That's, then she become more happy. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Jananda Maharaj, now it's little clear, 24 and a half. Is there uh, now? Still, I'm not clear, good day. I have to still, you know, <laughs> meditate. Know you have to meditate more. But you are also will research, then you will see that. So, 24 half cannot be alone, Krishna. That is a wrong conception. Then is the God consciousness. Is a and 24 means both together is Krishna, that is divine Raga Bhakti. My, this is my feeling, I see like Go on. So Gurudev, I have just a question about this. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, Nobody explained the half, right? Because it's somebody empty. explained the half before Onna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. Onnat Ujjwal. Onnat. Jananda Maharaj said one day, Onnat. He said, before was not clear. He said, Mahaprabhu developed this half. So that Before would mean 25. Asked to him, Jananda Maharaj said 25 was there. That would mean before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, nobody understood Manjari Bhav. No, yes, that, that is true. That is true. Then there are two only living, Nitya Siddha and Sadhan Siddha. There was no Kripa Siddha. Nitya Siddha and Sadhana Siddha. I was one time read the Narayan Maharaj book. And he explained up in that book name, I don't remember, Benugi. Nitya Siddha and Sadhana Siddha now is not printing. Then after that I start thinking 
he reads very clearly and very nicely Nitya Siddha Sadhana. But there's a Kripa Siddha also. What, how to know that? I was thinking, 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 thinking. One day I was resting in the big hall. There was one small bed. He appeared here. He said, Are you foolish? This way his style. You don't understand what how I can write in one paragraph or one book about Kripa Siddha. It's possible. And a whole scripture is written on Kripa Siddhas. How the Kripa Siddhas receive that? What their desire and how mercy get it to them? How I can conclude in one cap paragraph on one book? Any one books you write, you will find it. It's all by grace is happening. So these two things is separate, and one is a mercy. It's become very clear. I said, really, all books are only mercy. Every verse is a mercy, every line is a mercy. more and more deep, go and understand. Right? Right. Yeah. Gurudev, I think this, this Kripasita become more prominent after Mahaprabhu. That's because the point. Mahaprabhu, because that Mahaprabhu is, knew the Radharani. That is the point. And also Nitai also. Nitai is that, so masculine. That is the point. Nitai, my Gurudev say one day, Antaranga Sakti is taking care of in Kunja. And Antaranga, I Krishna has a habit to not stay one place. And he goes on here, there, there, there. Because he is the creator, then what to do? Then Radharani herself explained in Bahiranga Sakti herself, she is there. Radha is there in the form of Bahiranga Sakti, is no other. And then we say, is a sister of Radhika Anang Mandir. All the Leela out of Braja, out of Punja, is Bhairanga Sakti. Anang Mandir is. Even in Kurukshetra, Radharani goes, Anang Mandir is. Because even Krishna cannot recognize his Radha Anangmanji. She looks like this. <laughs> Krishna cannot know because they have no utility. Anangmanji has no utility. Same Rupa and Rati and all the Manjiris are the Anangmanji utility. Is no any other group is there. It takes time to understand to me. I was a baby, but they understand. All become perceptive. Jita dekho, tete shamay. Where I see is all Radha Mohan. All presence, even in the Vaishnavas. He is present. 
any living and non-living being, he is present. He is there. Non-living beings, living beings. Who is present? My is today this World not move without love. Where no love, there is nothing. Thank you. I'm taking ten minutes more. Yes. Oh yes, sir. Upset, oh yeah. Ali, oh yeah, some good. Get now, just say what then? No, I'll be coming, but I'm going by that. Man, he shall come in. We hold the top. We have had Samara Amara. Yeah. If any mistake, excuse me. Help me to learn more. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear that.